Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just finished cycling from Mazatlan over to Durango. I did this by following a route that's posted on bikepacking.com and that is a freaking wicked awesome website, let me tell you. Uh, it took me a couple days to complete the ride, but it was incredible. It's a bucket list to do for sure. Uh, so if you're thinking about doing this, hopefully this video can help you out and you enjoy watching it because I love the ride. So. I am excited to share with you what I went through. Currently just climbed some stairs right now up to a high point in Durango, which is a biblioteca, a library right here. It's a beautiful library up in the hills actually probably go in after I'm done with this video here but we can all appreciate how beautiful the view is from here look at the cathedral over there and just all the historic buildings gorgeous I love it nice little restaurant right there too so let's talk about the trip guys let's talk the details of how my trip went so for those of you that have been following my channel you guys know that I'm cycling right now from California to Nicaragua and in that time frame, I'm hitting parts of the routes that I find at bikepacking.com. So I found myself in La Paz after going down through Baja. And I decided to take the ferry over to Mazatlan and then follow the route from Mazatlan to Durango. So the first day I arrived to Mazatlan, I decided to bike immediately and get on the leg of the journey here. So I cycled my way out of Mazatlan and started heading my way up to, into the mountains. This bridge over here is freaking epic. Look at that river. There's people out there chilling. Little supermercado for your all your items. Beautiful, beautiful bridge. Views for days. This is why you get on the bike, my amigos. And one of the things I was ill prepared for that I was not ready for was the change in climate because of the region and also the shift in elevation, right? So the route itself, it's around 220 miles and you peak around 9,300 feet of elevation. So the weather shifts drastically from the low levels that I was used to coming from Baja, which was all extreme heat. Um, and the only thing I ended up bringing was a $10 poncho with me to protect me against the rain. Man, I am fucking beat. It started raining really hard and it's been nothing but uphills and it rained a lot. Like my feet are soaked, my pants are soaked. The only thing not soaked is my engine right here, my mid body. Thank you for this poncho right here, but I really feel that I need to get waterproof pants and some shoes that are water resistant to continue on through Mexico because once the rain hits, plus the high elevation and the cold air, it's not a good combo. Easily you can get sick. So good thing is I'm about 10 miles away from where I'm going to camp uh, tonight. So once I get there, I got to find a way to dry these out. You can see, look, it's pretty wet right now. It's dry right here, but it's wet and my shoes are wet. My arms are exposed, but... I wouldn't have it any other way, right? I knew I was going to sign up for this shit here. You can't expect it to be sunshine and flowers all the time. This is part of biking, you know? You got to deal with this shit. You got to be tough and you got to push forward through it, you know? So we're going to get to our camp spot here. Our actually hotel. Definitely a hotel. I do not want to camp out here um, to rest and then prep up for tomorrow. But we'll continue battling this fog over here. You can't see doo-doo, dookie or shit. But we'll move forward. Hopefully it does not rain anymore. I know you can laugh now. It's a rookie mistake amateur, but this is my first time doing this leg of the journey. Um, so what ended up happening is on the second day of heading up into the mountains, I did not know this, but there was a hurricane heading towards Mazatlan and I got hit by a pretty bad storm. It's been raining since 10 p.m. last night and it's currently 6 p.m. right now over 15 hours of rain and it does not stop. This is 
been cooped up here, haven't been able to do anything or much of nothing, waiting for the storm to pass. It was so much rain, so much wind, so I had to find shelter, and I ended up finding shelter in this small house in the mountains after passing a small pueblo called Copala and ended up being a doctor's house who's 77 years old and lives with his grandson and they drive up to this mountain three times a week to go spend three days there and help the community out because he's a doctor so the storm itself lasted three days it created a bunch of landslides wow that is a big boulder that fell on the road that is huge this storm was so strong The electricity went out for the three days so I was gridlocked and could not move out of that house right there I ended up eating breakfast dinner and lunch all three meals with them every day it felt like I was in a new family and it was super cool to meet these uh, doctor and his grand and his grandson I mean awesome people after around the third day the storm subsided and it dried out for the beginning of the day and I decided to proceed my trip and throughout the trip it was spectacular. The views, uh, let me tell you, they won't sell you these views on Expedia.com. You have to get on the beaten path and become a crazy cyclist or just a traveler and a person into adventure to go find these views yourself because these views are imprinted in my mind forever. They were gorgeous. I mean, the higher I climbed, the 360 views of the mountains, the lush greenery, uh, the weather it was unpredictable. You got fog, rain, then sun. It was intense um, and beautiful at the same time. So I cycled from Mazatlan all the way through this climbing 9,200 feet um, and going up and down hills and staying in the small pueblos like El Salto, La Ciudad. And these small pueblos are gorgeous. They have good food, the people are friendly. They have some hotel options there too that you can stay. After a, a couple of days of working my way through the Sierras, I finally descended into Durango and let me tell you, Durango is amazing. I was not expecting this city to be so beautiful. I did not research anything. I did not look at Google pictures or anything. So I was coming in blind to this and it's been nothing but spectacular. I don't want to leave, but I have to continue my journey. Uh, so from Mazatlan to Durango, it took me a total of five days to complete that leg. Uh, it's around 220 miles, a lot of elevation gain, uphills, downhills, weather shifts, um, but overall totally worth it. Uh, if you decide to do this, of course, the timing is going to depend on how fast you move, where do you decide to stay, how many rest days you have, or if you have any breakdowns. Um, a couple of tips. All right, major one, make sure you bring the right rain gear. Weatherproof pants would have been amazing. Uh, a right uh, poncho or rain jacket, that would be very helpful. Um, and expect unexpected, you never know what might happen here. I've noticed that a lot of the cars that are traveling uh, when you're heading up and they're passing you, usually it's a taxi, a bus, or a truck. They're working people, so they're going between city to city back and forth. So. When you pass them and if you have the opportunity make sure you're waving you're friendly because you never know if you might break down on the side of the road and the same guy that passed you two hours ago might be coming back to his house and be able to pick you up and give you a ride to a town to fix your bike it's happened to me before so there you lose nothing it costs nothing to be friendly trust me it'll go a long way when you need help and it will pass on to other people too so tip number two as I continue the leg of the trip, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue on the routes that I see on bikepacking.com. I still need to decide that before I proceed forward. But thank you to the contributors of this website because it is pretty spectacular that nowadays we can get on there and share these amazing trips and adventures for anyone who's willing to go put in the effort to do this. I am looking forward to the rest of the leg. I hope you guys love this video. If you did, Give it a thumbs up uh, and I will catch you guys on the next one here. Cheers, guys. Hey, guys, um, I need to pull up the mountain. You guys think you can help me out? I got 20 pesos. You guys look pretty strong here. I'm sure only one of you could pull me. Yes? No? They're like, who the hell is this guy here? <laughs>